Engineers have developed a new type of bio-hybrid robot controlled by living fungi. Living fungi controlled the robot? My name is Sonny. This innovative machine utilizes electrical signals from a king trumpet mushroom to navigate and interact with its surroundings. Created by a team from Cornell University and Florence University, the robot could mark the beginning of a new era in living robots. Researchers believe that combining the fungi's mobility and ability to detect chemical and biological signals could have numerous practical applications. Like what? What Did application? The scientists that- take the mushrooms first. No, I was in that shit, man. I never had no dope like that before in my life. Before the robot began to walk, they were tripping when they wrote the paper. <laughs> they were like, "Yo, this shit's fucking moving." <laughs> you see that? <laughs> it moved the legs, man. I put the, I took the mushrooms, but then I put the mushrooms in the robot, and the AI came alive, man. But I'm telling they you, put bro, a ate the shrooms in like an RC car, and they're like, "Holy shit, <laughs> this thing's moving, bro." I'm not, I'm not touching the remote. It's that's driving itself. <laughs> that's definitely what happened. <laughs> those crazy guys. But if that's real. Did you see the stuff about how the, the there's uh, mushrooms in the ocean that are eating plastic? A newly discovered marine fungus changes the tide in the battle against plastic waste. A team from the Royal Netherlands Institute for Sea Research discovered a sea fungus capable of breaking down polyethylene, a common plastic found in ocean litter. I have not. Yeah, there's like a, a fungi or whatever. He's not a boring guy. He's a fun guy. Fun guy. Ah! And uh, it's starting to uh, eat the plastic. And then there's mushrooms in like some random country that's uh, learning to eat radiation. Some fungi eat radiation. That would be helpful. Did you see that TV show where the guy was talking? It's like some TV show, but they're talking about how it was like from like the 60s supposedly, but how like one of the bigger things that could take out humanity is mushrooms and fungi growing it's like there's like grasshoppers that they overtake yep, from the last of us yeah the last of us yeah because there are some fungi who seek not to kill but to control yeah and so they um they have this mushroom that goes into the grasshopper or whatever and then like it doesn't let it die but it takes over their brain and it like makes it do stuff and they're yeah. saying just like right came from bats or whatever like this could like cross whatever well that is and take over humans and that i will say that is weird to think about because you think of like illnesses or diseases and what we currently have right like obviously it impacts your body you feel sick and you may be a little bit foggy like not as sharp as you normally are but those mushrooms are putting spores in our brains but that's what I, like with a with a r- normal illness like you're just you're still you you're still thinking Imagine if, like, there was an illness that was just, like, LSD, but, like, in a really, like, it was always a bad trip. But it's like a, you become dumber and dumber and dumber and yeah. dumber and dumber and dumber and dumber. Yeah. And then, what if we've already done that? What if we were gods and some other bigger god came in, like, the Anunnaki's and they programmed us to worship them? And we just sit here on this, like, two-dimensional, three-dimensional plane. 